Hi everyone, it's Karen the Geordie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good week. Today I thought I'd bring you a video where I talked about some YouTubers I watch the most. I'm subscribed to about 90 YouTube channels but I tend to, to gravitate to the same ones every day and there's specifically six YouTubers that I watch probably every day and I really look forward to their videos. They inspire me, they motivate me, um, I, just, I just love watching their content. If I haven't mentioned you here, it's not because I don't like your channel, it's just because it wasn't one of my top six that I watch all the time. So let's jump straight in. The first one is um, Caroline Mrs M. She is a, a lifestyle um, YouTuber. Uh, she's over 50, so she's like me. Um, she lives down in, I think it's Cornwall she lives in. Uh, and she does three blogs a week. Um, she does weekly vlogs, she does favorites, uh, blogs, uh, Vlogs. vlogs about beauty she does cooking um, she talks about TV she's watching she talks about books she's reading I just really enjoy watching her videos I think I've watched she was one of the first ones I started to follow on YouTube um, and she, she she was the one of the ones that actually inspired me to start my own YouTube channel so I do find her very inspiring and motivating she's always so nicely dressed and her makeup's always you know looks really good uh, so when I watch her videos if I'm feeling a bit down and I'm sitting me sitting in my PJs um, it makes us want to get up and go and put on some clothes and put some makeup on uh, and I just I feel better about myself so Caroline um, just love her channel I'll put the links to all these channels down below in case you want to go and check them out yourself the next youtuber is Kirsten's Curiosities uh, she also lives down south I think it's in Exeter not that you need to know where these people live but she has a uh, she has a shop and a physical shop where she sells vintage antique and second-hand curiosities those are her, her words in her, in her bio uh, and most of her um, YouTube videos are vlogs where she's in a shop uh, and she's, she takes you around the shop and shows you the kind of things she's selling. Um, she'll do videos if she's been to the car boot sale or to an auction and she's bought things to sell in her shop. She'll show you what she's bought. I think those ones are my favourite. I like to see what she buys because she's got a very similar taste to the kind of things I like to pick up as well. She occasionally does videos on uh, makeup. I think she sells Avon, uh, so she does some videos on that. At the moment, she's doing uh, Vlogmas, so she's showing you what's in her advent calendar every day. I always find that quite interesting. Um, but our, sh our shop looks fantastic. If I was down in Exeter, I would definitely want to go in there. I have actually ordered a couple of things from her online. Um, I just really like her stuff. Uh, but I would definitely want to pop in if I went down there. It's quite a big shop and it would probably take you a good hour to look around it. It's like an old curiosity shop. just looks fascinating. And she, uh, Jenny, her little Jack Russell always, well, it doesn't always, but sometimes makes a, an appearance in her videos. And I always like to see people's pets on their YouTube videos. Um, and Jenny is especially cute. Of course, Caroline, who I mentioned before, her cat is sometimes on her videos. I can't remember whether it is Reggie or Ron. She had two cats, Reggie and Ron. Now, no one died earlier this year. So whichever one it is, I like to see his appearances as well. Kirsten has, a, uh, as well as her physical shop, she also has a, a website and she also sells on Etsy. So I'll put links to those below because she really does have some great stuff. Next YouTuber is Zahia and Beck. Um, I've been watching Zahia for quite a few years now, ever since he first started selling things on YouTube, I think. He's got a, a physical offline shop called Only Cool Stuff. He's also got a website and he runs an eBay store where they sell lots of pop culture items like action figures and things like that. Um, and it, it's him, Zahia, and his wife, Beck, who run the shop and they work together. Uh, and I just find them really motivating as well. They do vlogs mostly in their shop, 
um, and they'll talk about their day, they'll talk about what new products they've got in, you know, what's selling. If they've got bad days, they'll talk about that as well, you know, what's, what's not selling. Um, I, I really like that honesty. They don't, they don't kind of make reselling and running a shop look rosy. You know, they talk about the bad times as well as the, as the good times. And that's really what I like to hear from a reseller video, especially. Um, I don't want it all to be, you know, roses and um, gold pouring in. Uh, I like to hear the ups and downs, so I like to hear and Bex for that. They're always so enthusiastic about what they're selling. You can you can just tell that Sahir loves these you know these toys that he sells. You really can't tell. Um, I think he'd probably like to keep most of them if he doesn't already. So yeah, that's another one that I really enjoy. The next one is Karen's Place. Um, again, she's a, a lifestyle uh, YouTuber. She, I, th I think she's over 50. Apologies, Karen, if you're not over 50, you may be in your 40s. Um, but she's she's similar to me. Uh, she does the kind of videos that I like. She does hauls from Poundland, B&M, Home Bargains, that kind of thing. She does um, makeup videos. Um, she talks about jewellery that she's she's bought. She's got a caravan, so she sometimes does caravan vlogs, which I find quite interesting um, because I really love a caravan myself, so I like to watch those. She recently did a video called 10 Tips to Get Organised for a Stress-Free Christmas, which I found very useful, so thanks for that, Karen. I did find that useful, really helpful at this time of year, obviously. And her little Westie, Zara, often features in our videos. It's so cute. Um, my daughter's got a little Westie called Bo, and they look very alike. So I like to see um, Zara in her videos too. And she's got a, the house she's she's living in, their garden is sort of backs onto a, like this huge field. So that the view they've got out there, you know, their back garden is just spectacular. Um, and she, she often does videos out there. So it's just nice to see, you know, that lovely open space with lots of greenery. So yeah, Karen's Place, really love that um, channel. The next one is Lauren and the Books. And this is a uh, a book book review channel where Lauren talks about books, um, all things books. I've never known anyone read as many books. I'm, you know, chuffed with myself if I read two or three books a month. She reads about 20 books a month. I don't know how she does that. Probably she doesn't watch as much TV as I do. But she, she reads quite an eclectic range of books. Um, so it's not just the usual you know, thrillers or um, chiclet kind of stuff. She reads a whole range of stuff from non-fiction uh, to, you know, to fiction, cookery books. She even reads graphic novels, things like that. Sometimes she reviews children's books. And what I like about Lauren is she, she is just so energetic. She really is energetic. If I watch her channel and I'm feeling a little bit sluggish, I'm certainly not by the end of it. She really does give you a boost. Sometimes her boyfriend David makes an appearance. Um, he's also into reading books as well. And they do, I think it's about four times a year and it's related to the season. So I think it's spring and summer and Halloween and Christmas. They do what she calls a cosy reading night where for three hours, I think it's between seven and ten, they'll just, they'll be sitting on the settee, her and her, her boyfriend, and they'll have some nice goodies to eat and a candle burning and... They'll, they'll have a book and they'll be reading a book and they'll be chatting about it in the in this live stream that she does on YouTube. And she's also at the same time commenting on Instagram and I think it's Twitter as well. Um, so it's a very interactive, cosy reading night. I haven't actually joined one yet, but she's doing a Christmas one. I think it's next Friday, um, Friday the... 17th I think it is so I might actually get involved with that because it sounds like something really interesting um, and she decides I think a few days beforehand what books she's going to be reading so if you want you know get the same book so you can read along at the same time as she is I don't think she reads out aloud she's just reading and talk about talking about it as she's going so I look forward to that and also in Lauren's channel at the moment she's also doing vlogmas most of the people that I'm mentioning today are doing Vlogmas, so they've got a video up every day. 
Um, but Lauren has been showing the advent calendars, you know, she opens her advent calendars and they've got a ton of advent calendars. They've got Hotel Chocolat one, um, David's got a popcorn one, she's got a Lush one, um, she's got a Wax Melts advent calendar, but they also make their own advent calendar gifts. Uh, so for December, she's bought David all the gifts for the odd days of the month and he's bought her all the gifts for the even days of the month. But they both bought each other gifts for the 1st of December and the 24th of December. Uh, and it's what a wonderful idea. I think I might do that next year because it's, it's, they've got them sort of wrapped in brown paper and hanging up on pegs in, in their room and, and they open something every day obviously that's... Um, you know personal to them and one of the gifts was that Lauren gave to David was two two tickets for them to go to a drive-in movie which I thought was a really nice idea so I, I, re I really like Lauren's channel highly recommended if you like reading and you want somebody who's very en energetic and last on my list of two you last on my list of youtubers that I'm watching most at the moment is Mr Carrington uh, I think it's y Ewan Carrington um, he is a lifestyle uh, YouTuber again. He does videos that are um, haul videos. So he, he goes to Aldi, um, he goes to Poundland, uh, he goes to B&M and all those places and he'll do hauls about that. He does cooking videos. He buys a lot of his things from like clothes and um, sort of house, household wares, homewares from charity shops. He doesn't buy them to resell, he actually buys them for himself. And it's nice to see actually what people pick up, um, you know, from charity shops for themselves, because mainly when I pick things up for, from charity shops, they're to resell on eBay. So it is nice to see that he does a lot of DIYs, so he'll buy things from Poundland, and then do DIYs with them to turn them into something else or to make them look a bit nicer. That's always fun to watch. He does a lot of travel videos. He actually just, he's just been to America. I think it was on a, a work trip he was there. Uh, and he, because he's into DIY, he decided to go into Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree while he was there. So he took his camera with him and he was showing you around there. And I've always been fascinated when I watch a lot of uh, DIY YouTubers who um, are in America and they all talk about Ho Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree so I would love to go so it was nice for him to show me around there I was quite happy with that it wasn't just me he was showing around obviously it was all of his subscribers but I found that video really fun and you'll also find Mr Carrington on um, BBC program Sort Your Life Out with Stacey Solomon he does uh, a I think he helps with the DIY stuff on there when they're doing people's houses up. Um, and he's also on ITV's um, Steph's Pack Lunch. He's got a segment on there. I think that's on a Friday uh, lunchtime. And I think it's a bargain a bargain buy segment he does. Um, I've only watched it once, so I'm not sure. I always forget it's on. So, Mr. Carrington, if you like that type of um, video, he's the one for you. So, those are my... Um, the six YouTubers that I watch most often. Like I say, I'm subscribed to 90 YouTube channels, but these six I probably watch every day and I really look forward to them coming out. So I hope you found that interesting. Do you watch any of them? I'm sure you do. Um, if you, you know you watch a YouTuber that you think I might find interesting, just drop it in the comments section below. I'd be really interested to hear that. I'd like to find new ones to watch. Um, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this kind of video, uh, I do also do videos on uh, shopping hauls. So I also go to Poundland and B&M and those kinds of places and tell you what I've bought. I do videos on what I buy at auctions, what I sell on eBay. Um, I do favourites videos monthly, telling you know what telling you what I like that month. Just lifestyle kind of videos. So what a you know what a fifty eight year old grandma from Gateshead gets up to really. So if you like those kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you again really soon. Sorry if this video has been a little bit jumbled, probably because I'm sitting on the floor. I'm not used to it. But like I said, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.